is just saying this is a massive complex, and at this moment it is ablaze. Veteran firefighters tell me they've never seen anything like it. Losses are expected to be in the millions of dollars. Central storage is used by businesses like Oscar Meyer and Swiss Colony, along with smaller enterprises like those folks who raise chickens up in Westfield. This is all food ready for market, including large quantities of government surplus butter. Workers tell me the fire started around 2 this afternoon when a forklift type of piece of equipment blew up. There were 20 to 25 people inside the warehouse at the time. All got out safely. It is a maze of freezers and refrigerators inside, and firefighters had a hard time getting at the fire. It spread quickly. The insulation that keeps everything cool and frozen is also highly flammable. On top of that, stiff winds from the east fanned the flames to adjoining warehouses. It's a maze, and they got a lot of combustibles. And you, you got a lot of heat because it's like the coldness, you know, the styrofoam that holds the coldness in. Also got the heat inside, too. And once you get some oxygen, away she goes, like you're witnessing here. And it's in the other building. I don't think that they're required to have sprinklers, but you'd have to ask the inspector. You know. Millions upon millions of dollars in produce and frozen food are burning up or melting. This is a river of butter firefighters are splashing and slipping through. So complex are the layers of refrigerators and freezers that a blueprint is needed to map out firefighting battle plans. Joel Despain, WISC.